How dare you shit on my car? You know I just got it waxed. How dare you? And my name is Adrian. Jessica. Jessica. My name is John. Hi, nice John. to meet you. How are you? I'm excellent. Courtney. My name is John. Nice to meet, meet you. you. So have you ever been to Ellis Island? I have not. Do you know anything about it? I know it's where a lot of immigrants came through a long time ago. What do you think about how the immigration policy is now in this country versus like back in the days of Ellis Island? I think it's definitely a lot less inclusive. Um, they kind of focus a lot more on the higher class immigrants and that's kind of what's more generally accepted. Well, my, I think that America is uh, the land of immigrants. This country was founded and built on immigrants and uh, you know, I don't see a problem with it. I mean, people that think that immigrants are coming into this country and they're taking away something from, you know, Americans, you know, I, I don't agree with that. You know, I think it's, we were built on this, it's a country, it, I mean, it's, it's enough for all of us. Uh, so did you guys go to Ellis Island today? No, I actually work right down the street, so. I guess you guys are just like relaxing, end of the day. Yeah, enjoying each other's company. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of, that's what we're doing yeah. too. Just a nice, <laughs> nice little walk down the, uh, by the, by the seaside. But I wanted to ask you, so do you know anything about like the history of Ellis Island or anything? Yes. So what do you think about how we treat immigrants now versus how like we treated them during the Ellis Island days when um, it was an operation? It's just, it's disheartening, you know, this, the whole point of Ellis Island was to welcome people to a, a new way of living, a new way of life, to, to starting, uh, you know, a better life for them and their families. And now you're essentially just discarding people because you feel that they come from the wrong country or um, their background. You know, I'm my family's from Puerto Rico. And technically, even though we're considered citizens of the United States, you know, we're also a country as well. And it's just disheartening to see how people are being treated, whether it's the color of their skin or where they're from. You know, it's just a it's disheartening and what makes it worse is the fact that our president is kind of popularizing it and people are kind of going with the whole propaganda of it all. Um, I know it was maybe like in the early 1900s. I think a lot of people was coming from different countries to Ellis Island to like get jobs and, uh, you know, get opportunities. How do you think the Trump administration's handling it? Not well. <laughs> Not a fan of Donald Trump? Not really, no. Just because of immigration or other things? A lot of things. Like what? What, what don't you like about uh, the Donald? Donald Trump doesn't have morals. It's kind of a problem. <laughs> You'd think the leader of the country would demonstrate how they think the average person should be, and if that's how Trump thinks everyone should be, like... Would um, you agree that Trump is at least pretty cool? I wouldn't say pretty cool. <laughs> I think it's maybe not the best thing to just say, okay, like, we close our borders, and then it will solve all our problems. Um, I think you, there are better ways to deal with immigration than to just say, okay, yeah, we don't want anyone here, um, because I think it's a great chance for every country, and yeah. I don't, I don't really like how Trump is. You don't like how Donald Trump is? With immigration or just in general? In general. What don't you like about him? I don't like how he, uh, I mean, he expresses his feelings, I understand that, everybody has that, but I don't, I don't like how he, he may be racist to some people or like he may, you know, be disrespectful in towards, towards other people. Not very well. I mean, you don't separate children and families. I mean, I agree that that should be a process, but I think that what he's doing, it, it's just going way too far. What do you think that we should be doing to handle it? Whatever you can to speed up the process. I believe people should follow the process. They should come into the country uh, legally. And they should be given that opportunity. I mean, he could hire more judges, more magistrates, something to make the process move along faster. But, you know, um, that's what makes America what it is. What do you think is a good amount of like immigrants we should let in every year into America? If they are applying, and I really don't know a number to, to give you that. I mean, you've got parts of America that hasn't even been, what, what, modernized yet? I, I, well, that's not the word, but I mean, it, it's areas, it's plenty of space, it's plenty of areas. I mean, it's a niche for everybody, I think. So as long as they, follow, you know, they go through the process, you allow them to follow that process, I don't see why it should be a problem. <laughs> I don't know if handling is the appropriate word to use when it comes to what he's doing in terms of, I think he's just essentially making the situation worse. You know, he's making it where people feel that it's okay to disre disrespect people or treat them differently. Um, and it just, 
it's it's causing a bigger divide at this point you know we're taking steps back as opposed to you know we're having a regression instead of progression you know and i think we just need to become more welcoming and more understanding of people's backgrounds if someone's coming here from a foreign country they're not coming here because they are living in the best of situations they're trying to bring their families here so that they can have a life for their children you know to make things better and i don't think that's understood and i think he's focusing on the wrong things. Do you like Trump other than the immigration aspect? No, you don't. Don't finish the question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I think what's like important is to have like uh, fair terms to give people a chance to, to enter a country and to um, kind of build up a life in, in that country. Um, because if you're always um, like against immigration and so on, then the people don't feel welcome here, then they don't integrate well into the culture and maybe don't find a job because stereotypes are activated and so on? Honestly, you know, it's it's hard because there's so many different things that can be done, but I think we need to find a way to help immigrants as opposed to the answer isn't just let's send them back where they came from. You know, there has to be a way to welcome them. The same way they brought them in through Ellis Island, they came in through Ellis Island. We have to find a way to at least get back to that point. If we're going to regress in some you know, state, you know, some form, let's regress to that point where we welcome people as opposed to sending them away, tearing up families, you know, 600 kids were left in a gym because their parents were picked up in a raid. You know, that's disheartening. I'm a mother and I can't imagine my child waiting for me to pick her up from school and I don't show up. Um, so I'm actually an immigrant myself. From which country? South Africa. Okay. So. I definitely think that we should be more welcoming, especially to refugees and people who are having struggles in their own countries because you never really know until you're in their shoes and I think a lot of people, especially in this country, don't understand what it could be like to be persecuted in other countries and I really do think that with the opportunity here we should be we should be more open and more welcoming to those in need. They say the United States is, you know, to, to what is it, to, to let's make America great again. Let, let's make it great again by making it more inclusive, bringing to light what needs to be. And that's, you know, inclusivity and not divisibility, because that's where we are at this point. I'm here for business. What kind of business? I work in healthcare consulting. OK, that's I don't know what that is, but <laughs> most people don't. Yeah, so you like consult people like it's like, oh, my God, I'm dying. And you're like, hey, do this to not die. No, that sounds like a doctor. Oh. Um, we tell pharmaceutical That's healthcare companies. consulting, let's be honest. <laughs> we tell pharmaceutical companies how to market their products. Oh, so you're in with Big Pharma? Yes. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> we were deceived by the square footage and also um, general quality of the Airbnb. So now we're just two pros sharing a bed with our socks on. Socks on. Yeah, I, I'm sleeping with a shirt on. Arms length. He's not good.